Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the Coaching Carousel Dynasty. Well, here we are, the final three games of Season 3. And our former team last year, Houston, is doing excellent without us. You know, back in Season number 2 when we left Bowling Green, Bowling Green was absolutely terrible. Houston, still pretty good, top 25 as well. Another team I want to check up on is Memphis because, remember, they beat us in the opener. They have continued to win. They are 7-1 and one and top 25 on the year, so maybe that makes that loss a little bit justified. Jameis Johnson about 170 yards away from 1,000 yards on the season, nine touchdowns. Caden Walker has six touchdowns as well. I think this is the best year we run the football in this series so far. Our receiving core isn't the greatest, but we just make sure we get the ball to everybody. Nobody really sticks out as the star, but Glenn Turner does have five touchdowns. And defensively, we haven't really covered defense too much, but Travion Ford has four sacks. Our defense is not playing bad at all. I don't think this is the elite defense we had last year with Houston, but actually playing really well. We are five and four overall. We have one loss on the season in the conference and that was last game versus Tennessee which handed us our first conference loss and remember they were like I think one in five coming into that game and they actually upset us but here we are going up against Texas in the final three games we have one big game coming up and that is versus Florida so here we go going up against Texas at home in the snow so here we go. Here's an early third and 16. Here's a throw. Bubba Wilford trying to look for Jaden Richards, and that was a wide open man open, but he absolutely air mails it. We settle for three on that drive. Caden Walker running the football here in the second quarter. He picks up a gain of seven as Missouri has the three-point lead. At the 50 now, play action fake. Wilford throw to the right side. That's Jaden Richards, and that's a gain of 22. And Jadon Richards has come around, and he has been catching the ball quite a bit the last couple of games. Maybe we figure something out. Here is Will for going to the end zone. That one's Jeremy Five Coat, 27 yards out for the touchdown, and we take the 10-0 lead at that point. On to the third quarter. Here's a quick throw to the right side, and that is Jamison Everett getting in the rotation. Gain of 14. That's his first touchdown on the year. And Missouri is rolling here in the third quarter. Here's a fourth and three attempt here. Here's a quick throw. And Jadon Richards takes a slant to the house. Touchdown from about 20-something yards out. Bubba Wilford with three touchdowns today. And Jadon Richards gets in on that one. Texas sends the cover zero pressure. And we do take the 24-3 lead at that point. Into the fourth quarter now. Here's a quick throw to the right side. Jadon Richards again, a gain of nine. And now it's goal to go. He goes over 100 yards for the first time this year by a receiver. Here is Will for now stepping up. And he will take off. He falls forward into the end zone. Nine yards out in Missouri in complete control today. 31 to three. And we get one more possession here before the end of the game. Here is Jacob Hill in the game. He throws to the right side. That's going to be caught by Walker Banks. And he gets to about the one-yard line. Hand off. Caden Walker. Touchdown. He's in. We absolutely roll Texas. I don't know what happened to Texas in this game, but they did not show up at all. So now the game of the year. This is a nationally televised game. Winner takes all in the SEC East, pretty much. Florida versus Missouri, 6-1 in conference versus 7-1 in conference. 8-2 overall, Florida versus 6-4 Missouri. And this is for it all. Whoever wins this game will have the tiebreaker and will go to the SEC championship. As Florida did what they needed to do, they beat South Carolina last week. But they did miss 
a big player in that game, Anthony Richardson, who is a senior at this point. So we will face quarterback Jack Miller today as Richardson is shaken up with a four-week injury. Montrell Johnson, 12 touchdowns on the season, 866 on the ground, 5.8 per carry. And then they have a couple of good receivers, like Xavier Henderson, 10 touchdowns on the year. Burke and Washington have eight and six, respectively. But then the defense is what we had to worry about. Shamar James is one of their big-time players on defense. He leads them in tackles, and he is going to be an excellent player getting after the quarterback. Six sacks on the year. And looking at the rest of their sack leaders, five sacks, four and a half, three and a half, two and a half, two. Not the best uh, team getting after the quarterback, but very, very formidable. And they do turn the football over as well. And as you can see, Anthony Richards, a six-week injury, a torn shoulder, which will end his season so here we go in the swamp on the road versus number seven florida this would be the big signature win on the season besides the early season victories versus alabama and those other boys so here we go here on the first drive play action fake here's bubba wilford throwing and he's got an open luis galvez who puts on a move he gets to the 45 it's a gain of 17 yards and he gets the first down at about the 45-yard line. Here's Wilford handing off to Jameis Johnson up the middle. Approaching 1,000 yards on the season. Hopefully we will get it to him today. Hand off to Caden Walker who checks into the game. And that is a loss of two. And it's Tyreek Sapp who has four sacks on the season. And we do not get anything on that first drive. Here is Florida now up by seven. Bubba Wilford scrambling on the next drive, and that one will be a first down scramble by Wilford. Now set up at the 34-yard line. Wilford throwing across the middle. It's Luis Galvez again. Galvez and Jadon Richards have been very, very involved as of late, and it's shown we have really like started to throw the football around the yard pretty much. As Jameis Johnson picks up the first down, now we're at the 49. Here is Wilford in the pocket, throwing to the right side. It's Luis Galvez again, and he will get seven yards on that play. Now, our offense has been really balanced this year. I think that's the one thing that I've enjoyed about this offense rather than the years past. But here's a throw to the right side, and Wilford cannot make an accurate throw. Not sure that would have been a first down anyway, but Florida takes the 10-0 lead. The offense needs to pick it up. Here is Jameis Johnson with a wide open hole up the middle. It's a gain of 13 yards and a first down. He remains into the game now. We run Nathan Claflin in motion. Play action fade throw. Throw to the left side. A wide open. Luis Galvez down the left sideline. Tackled at the 22. A big gain that time by the tight end. And now we are set up in the red zone. A second and 10 play now. Here's Wilford trying to buy some time. He finds Jeremy Fivecoat. Gets around the edge. Pushed out of bounds at the two. A gain of 21 yards for Jeremy Fivecoat's first catch of the game. And now we're inside the five. Wilford, quick throw to Luis Galvez. Touchdown. Missouri is on the board here on the road. The Swamp is a dangerous place to play. And it is now 10-7. to seven into the third quarter now it is a low scoring affair here's a deep shot looking for his man downfield incomplete Wilford just absolutely just launched that thing here's a handoff second and ten and Jameis Johnson lost to five Kamari Wilson all-american safety in the backfield third and 15 Wilford throws to the left side and that's caught by Jadon Richards a gain of 20 a good throw by Bubba. He extends this drive. So first and 10 now. Jameis handoff up the middle, and he picks up about a gain of four. Florida has really stopped us on the ground, something that a lot of teams haven't done yet this year. Cole running in motion. Here's an option. Wilford makes the wise decision not to pitch the ball. He actually does advance the ball three yards on that play. Third and three, running Galvez in motion. Another handoff. This is Caden Walker into the game. He picks up two. He needed three. What will Coach do? We will line up to go for this one. 
We hurry up the offense, keep the same personnel on the field. It's going to be a fourth and one try. Handoff. Caden Walker with the big hole. He picks up seven. And another drive extender on this one. It's a first down across the 50. Florida sends the pressure. Here is Banks again into the game. He picks up 12 yards. And that is a first down for him. He doesn't get in much, but he does pick up a couple of catches when he does. Second and 10 now. Play action fake. Wilford. He moves to the right side, throws that way as Glenn Turner. He may have had Antonio Cole open in the end zone on the right side. He decides to take the safe pass right there. First and 10, Caden Walker extending this drive again. A big time run. It's a gain of 10 yards, and we're inside the 10. A second and inches, so the downs will reset with the first down. Caden Walker cuts back. No more downs needed. Touchdown. A gain of 10 yards for Caden Walker. And the backup running back gets into the end zone. Good vision by him. Running over a safety. And Missouri takes the four-point lead. Later in the third quarter now, under a minute to go. Here is a throw across the middle. That's Luis Galvez. And he picks up a gain of nine. Six for 84 for Galvez. You can just see his value is adding to the offense. Here is Jameis, another handoff, another first down for him. Rushing yards only at 76 today, only 32 from Jameis Johnson. As we get across the 50 here, here's another play from the pistol, a little counter play. Jameis Johnson picks up six. Maybe now he's starting to get that average per carry up. And now here we go into the fourth quarter. It's a third and one attempt. Wilford in the pocket. He tries to take off to the left side. Nobody's home. They don't expect the quarterback run on that one. It's a gain of 12. We don't use it often, but when we do, it's effective. So first and 10 now. Wilford in the pistol. Throws to the left side. It's Jadon Richards. Who runs over a defender to the five. Touchdown. Jadon Richards absolutely punishes a Florida Gator. Take another look. The defender came in and did not stand a chance. I mean, J. Don Richards just put his helmet down. Boom. No chance at all. And he's going to have to go to the sideline and explain that to the coach. What a run after catch by J. Don Richards. And he does extend this lead 21 to 10. Three minutes to go. Here we go. Wilford. Aaron out, going deep on the next drive, and that one's caught by Antonio Cole. A gain of 43. Every single game, Bubba Wilford has one dime of a throw. That was the one today. Now in the field goal range, Jameis Johnson handoff. Another first down. Florida is starting to collapse here at the end of the game. Another carry. This time Walker tries to get away. He's going to lose five on this play. And now we're set up here, third and goal at the 10. Two minutes to go. A touchdown would put this game away. Here's Wilford. He may have had X open. He tries to throw it late, but it's out of the back of the end zone. We will be smart. Settle for three, 24 to 10. Let's check out our defense on the other side of the football. Here's a throw to the flat by the quarterback, and that one will be caught by Baker. A gain of nothing. And now third and 10. Florida has one timeout, a minute and a half to go. No Anthony Richardson. It's going to be picked off over the middle, and Missouri will seal this game up. Miller throws his first interception of the game, and that will do it. Missouri does one of the hardest things in NCAA football, goes into Florida and wins in the swamp. It wasn't just a fluke because we literally watched that last drive and our defense was clamping down the Florida offense. No Anthony Richardson definitely helped us out, obviously. One of the best-rated quarterbacks in the game right now in season number three. But we end up going, and we will clinch it. We're going to the SEC Championship. The last game doesn't matter much, but we will still play it, obviously, and try to get that win. But we are 7-4 officially. Caden Walker with the touchdown today. Jameis Johnson started to warm up. He had 73 yards rushing, but he was stopped for a lot of the game. But we kept giving it to him. That's what you got to do in these games. You just, just got to keep pounding the rock, even if it's not working. Then on defense, we saw the interception by Wilson. We had two sacks today. 
Just a very, very good all-around game from the team. In Missouri, with four losses, we'll be going to the conference championship. But one last game remains versus Texas A&M as we are going to be in the rain. We are 7-4. and four. They are 6-5. and five. They are still, I think they are both eligible with six wins, but fighting for it. And we'll see what happens. They are 4-4 four four in SEC play. So here we go on the road. Wilford, this time the first play, throw into the right side. That's caught. It's a third and 18. It's going to be Antonio Cole down the right sideline. Touchdown. 91 yards to the house for Bubba Wilford to Antonio Cole. The first completion of the game, 91. So first and 10 now. Here is Antonio Cole in the third quarter, running in motion. Hill keeps it. He pitches it at the last second. It's picked up by Jameis Johnson. Johnson to the outside, to the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20. He will take it all the way. Touchdown. 77 yards on a broken option play. How does that happen? Jameis Johnson, the luckiest touchdown you will see all day long. We end up holding on to win that ball game. Antonio Cole with that one catch gets player of the game, 91 yards. Antonio Cole, one of the biggest plays we've seen all year. Then Jameis Johnson does the exact same thing later, a big play. And we get another victory. And we find out we will be playing number four, Alabama, in the SEC Championship. Missouri is now ranked in the top 25, the only one of two teams that have four losses in the top 25. But an eight and one SEC uh, record will bring us into this game. And here we go. The toughest thing in sports, beating the same team twice in the same year. We have to do it in the SEC Championship. Hit subscribe, hit that like button, stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I'm about my pledge. I'm decked up on blue bills. And I won't stop until the cash pit. There's like fall leaves in the bag fill. Tell her out of my face if she coming with that bull. Quick to save my peace. I'm so after school special. She brainy but them jeans looking like